Right, here we are christmas in the park here ewing park we're a little early we'll give you a light display we just want to show you all the stuff here in the daylight ewing park elwood city christmas in the park i think it's one of the better ones around because when this is all lit up this is, you can see this whole thing about a giant half mile loop but we'll just show you the trees and the sponsors here i guess today non-lit and then we'll make you a lit one just because we make a video every year. Benny's tree, I like it. Girl Scouts. Nice day, actually. Five days before Christmas here. About 45 degrees. So getting a fresh air, stretch out, walk in. Come on, Joe. Pete's. Or Tony's, I should say. Come on, Joe. <laughs> How am I getting yelled at? It's playground. Yes. Live nativity here on Sundays if you want to come see anybody. I think it's 7 to 9 or something like that on Sundays. Which there ain't no more Sundays left before Christmas. So I guess that's out of the picture. But they had a couple here and there new things. Pretty much same design. The guy that used to do this retired two years ago. So it's, it is a little different. Not as many lights in the trees and stuff. But basically your same, your same setup. Still a hell of a lot of leaves over here. A lot of deflatables. They took down our big healthy arch. If you saw our video from like four years ago, there's a big arch and they had laser show and all that stuff. Now it's just, as you can see up here, just a simple no. light arch. That's a new one there in the back. That's Santa kicking a ball to one of the reindeer. That looks pretty cool when it's lit up and it's all these lights move. There's a cupcake by Crystal's Cakery. Can't say I've ever been there. But it doesn't look like a white Christmas again this year as usual here in western pa this one's a new one here with the guys lasso and the cow the milker cow that there is for like the class of 1971 or something i'm not sure what is in that little shack but you can't get in there and it's never open so i'm not sure how they got permission to even put it in the park but it is there let's take a peek because i've never this is a new one here with this donkey going hee-haw and kicking let's take a look at it this is no actually this is a class of 72 memorial cabin and like i said i'm not sure how they got permission to put this here because obviously it's never open to the public but it's in the middle of a public ewing park here so let's take a peek in the window see if we can see and as you can see in there <laughs> Maybe that's why there is a book in there. It looks like a yearbook and a wood wooden seat. And that is it. It looks like basically where they go in there to like BS. Let's give you a look from the other side. Here's from the other window. Look. Can't see Jack there. Look. That's what's in there. Like a place where Two people can sit and read a yearbook and reminisce. But as you can see, they got permission to build that in this park. I'm not sure how that works or what they had to pay, but that looks like a very nice shed. Doesn't get used for anything. <laughs> but just wanted to share that. Here's our uh, arches. They changed them from back in years before they had this. We'll show you the one actually playing. Right here's the old one. I set it up and tied it off and it had 
all kind of laser shooting and stuff. It was kind of cool. But they did away with that one, I'm guess, because of the old school lights. And here is your new LED version. Not as cool, but obviously easier to put up and brighter. Christmas tree's been up in the poles for years. But we will make you a video here before they take this down this year of all this lit up because we do try to do that once a year so we can see what's different. But this is about a good half a mile, half mile loop in Ewing Park, Elwood City, PA. There used to be Bryce's favorite right there. Grandma got run over by the truck, had a truck chasing down. Snoopy and the gang. 57 Chevy Santa. And then this is a good walk in Ewing Park if you want to come down. We always walk the nature trail with this loop. If you combine that two, it's a mile and a half walk. We try to do it twice at least a day, if not more. So if you've never been to Ewing Park, come on down. Kid friendly, has a pool, big playground nature trail and what else etc as you can see we started clear over there we ain't even gonna walk that strip again because nothing's lit down but here's Santa on a Harley and Mr. Snowman's been here forever there's just a light shining on him. And then we come here to Washington Avenue and we're not gonna, we're gonna walk it, but we ain't gonna film it because nothing's lit up. And then you got a good quarter mile there of lights. We'll show you a video of that when everything is lit up. So over and out here from the nature, or excuse me, Ewing Park uh, light display 2023.